Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Here's the other end of the rope. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. strikes again. Hold. Hold. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Damn, this is heavy. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. is so surreal. First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Do it, Max. <sighs> Wrong code. Okay, so it's locked. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need him? First a padlock, then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. Oh, 
no, it didn't work. Oh, think, think. Oops, bad code. Some numbers look faded, so I just have to get lucky. That only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. hell is this? Okay, so it's locked. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Son of a bitch. Talk about tortured. Keep searching, Chloe. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. That son of a bitch. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but nothing about Rachel here. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Everything is sketchy as fuck, but nothing about Rachel here. Somebody hikes their whiskey. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Prescott's and creepy art.
Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my... This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel is passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit.
hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you alright after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? <laughs> well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey, I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know, I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. Thank you. 
find Nathan and take him down. Is she mad Warren asked me out? Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. So why are you here tonight? No homework, boredom, waiting. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Rock, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. I don't think having superpowers would make my life easier. With great power comes great bullshit. I don't know. It would be pretty kick ass to battle supervillains over Arcadia Bay. Well, the night is still young, but so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Bigfoot on otter action. Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. School day. Didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I want to make sure he's not gonna do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh wait, I did see Nathan today. Nursing a busted face. I had dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. Well, Luke. Sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beat now. Yes, give it up to Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoots game. He fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Warren. Okay, I have to get going. Thanks for seeing me. No, thank you for helping Kate and for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Bigfoot on otter action.
Look at Alyssa shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. Look at this. I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have the time. Even if I hate most of them. I think Rachel Amber would agree. I didn't know her, but I hope she's safe and sound. Uh, yeah. I'll talk to you later, Alyssa. Max, you look kind of tense. Maybe you should go crash. You had a tough week too with Kate. Plus having to save my ass all the time. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kind of are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better, and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Thanks again, Max. Now I can enjoy this shitty party.